Hey guys, it's Brandon, AKA Be Rich Beauty, AKA your beauty best friend. It's that time, summer, summer, summer bronze. And I'm utilizing the new bronzers by MAC Cosmetics, the Sunstruck Bronzers. But most importantly, y'all, I'm letting you in on my favorite bronzing technique, and I call it the Bronze Tour, mm-hmm, just like that. So, you know what to do. Grab your beverage, let go. Most importantly, what you sipping on? Child, I, I'm in Mexico currently, and I said I wanted something al fresco and refreshing, so I got myself a little Aperol Spritz. Cheers to you, sugar. Child, so I told y'all I was in Mexico, right? I don't know about y'all, but is it just me? The pillows that come on the couch in the room just gross me out, because I know the nastiest of nasty be happening on these pillows. So I push these pillows as far away from me as possible. Ooh, hoping I don't make no contact with the bills, y'all. But baby, for all the new beauty besties, welcome on into the room. While you're here, though, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on all this good old melanated magic sugar. And for all the beauty besties that's not new to this, but you are what? True to this? Y'all know! <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Y'all know I love seeing y'all. Welcome on into the room, sugar. All right, baby so like I said in the opening, we're talking about bronze touring this summer. If Beyonce can be on our summer renaissance tour, baby, we can bronze tour. And I'm gonna talk to y'all about that bronze tour, tour term in a second, but I don't know if you got a chance to pick up the new Sunstruck bronzers by MAC. Baby, when I tell you I've been around the world and I, yeah, yeah, and I've seen some things that I rarely, and I, and I say this in all earnest, it is hard for us melanated people to find bronzes that work for us. Oftentimes, it's like, well, you can highlight and then add a little bit of orange and maybe you can look like you got a little bit of glow or just, you know, hang out in the sun and get a natural tan. No, I want a bronze too, like all my light to medium skin be beauty besties. And I'm just super excited that not only <laughs> do I have bronzers this summer for options, because we like options, I, I'm working with two. Now, I don't have all the colors, so I can't do official unboxing, but I have two of the shades, and I'm gonna tell you, one is Rich Rosy, what's the name? It's a Radiant Rich Rosy, and the other is a Matte Rich Golden, and I love, love, love that I'm, I have a Radiant Bronzer and a Matte Bronzer to create dimension, and we're gonna talk about the importance of dimension, but I'm gonna just go ahead and swatch real quick. It is so silky, y'all, look at this color. This is giving me golden hues. This is giving me just enough color. Ooh, I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see if y'all can see this real quick. I'm gonna try to, yeah, there we go. Let the camera focus. Y'all see that glow right there? Y'all see that subtle bit of warmth? And then this one right here, y'all know I call it a bronze tour because we about to use this like a contour, but because it's bronzer, it can't be a contour because a contour is like cool, natural occurring shadows. And because it is a bronze and has a little bit of warmth, that's why I call it a bronze tour. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. Anyways, look at this color. Oh God, I feel like my hands aren't doing it justice, but this face will. So you can see, oh yeah, there it is right there. You can see that you have, it glides on smooth, it gives you just enough color, and it's super silky. So I said, I just wanna jump in and let's do a bronzer look today, but I'm gonna add in a little bit of this trend that I've been seeing. Y'all know I did the underpainting with the highlight and contour. Y'all know the people are underpainting blush now. So I have my blush palette. And we're gonna underpaint, we're gonna do blush first and then we're gonna bronze tour, okay? And I'ma just say this. <laughs> I feel like I'm in my skinning era. I feel like my skin looks real good. So I don't feel like I don't have to do a lot of foundation and or concealer. And if y'all think otherwise, keep that comment to yourself. Let me have my moment. But we're gonna start by applying blush um, cause we're gonna underpaint today, okay? All right, so I'm taking my blush palette cause it's creamy. And what I saw, I think it might've been on TikTok or Instagram that the people were using like liquid uh, blushes. Um, you could also use like your, like I love the glow play. I just put my hands on this first. So because it's so much brighter, we're gonna underpaint first. And I'm doing, y'all know I like this high blush these days. I know I still owe y'all a tutorial for this too. We won't get there. But let's just go ahead and like boom, boom, boom this in first. 
we're high blushing it. And I don't know how much I'm supposed to be blending since we're gonna put foundation on top, but you know, I'm just, I got it on. So we got, that is real pink. Let me see if I can add a little bit of this orange too in handy. Let's add a little orange to this. Yeah, a little orange, a little yellow. Mm -hmm, a little tangerine to the for the kids. All right, so we got our blush on. Let me go ahead, I have my brows on, but I'm going ahead and add like foundation now, okay? Y'all been playing with this? Y'all know it's summer, so y'all, I've been doing, I've been playing around with it. I like it. One thing I, I will say this, make sure if you're traveling like me, make sure you lock it before you pack it so that way it doesn't explode in your makeup bag. Uh, don't ask me how I learned that one, okay? But I'm gonna take a little bit of foundation and I'm gonna start from the, the jawline. And typically I start inward, but I'm gonna just go ahead and pull this in and up on top. Okay, I'm, I, I may not be mad. You can still kind of see the blush. All right, so this is giving me a little bit of a natural flush here. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and pause for the cause real quick. So we can look, this is the underpainting. So you can see I have like a little natural flush of color. I may not be mad. Now I'm, I'm gonna be real honest, you know, I'm on the road traveling. I probably should have had a darker blush, but even with this lighter blush, it still kind of gives me a little bit of a lift. So imagine if this was a little bit deeper, like a, a darker orange or like a berry for my, like my last blush video, this would be the jam. I also realized that you could probably also work your way like around the blush as well if you wanna see a little bit more. So you don't even have to work directly on top of the blush. You can work your way up and around and so you can see a little bit more over here. I'm not mad at this underpainting. And the skin is still looking what? <laughs> Good. Okay. Going in, adding my concealer for that extra little bit of coverage. This was the, br the, the brush I used for the blush. I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. Almost like pushing the foundation back into the skin, but using whatever was left on the, of the brush for just a little wash of color still. I like this. What y'all think so far? I'm gonna come a little closer. Y'all can see the blush, right? This is giving very under, Oh, you know what? Let's do a little under here too. This is giving that underpainting for blush technique. So if you wanna look like you're blushing from within, Someone says something to you cute and you got all excited and or embarrassed or a little perk, perk, perky. This little under blush technique is the bee's knees. I'm surprised it worked on such a melanated beauty like you're looking at right now. <laughs> Cheers. I'm gonna take a pinch of powder, just a pinch. And we're gonna kinda like set right through here. Just to kinda like blur, nothing crazy. No crazy baking, but yeah, just to kind of like smooth things out. <laughs> Here's the fun part. I call it, like I said, the bronze tour because we're using our bronzers to sculpt our face. Now y'all know all y'all like to, and I'm gonna go ahead and be real real. Y'all know half the time y'all be using bronzers. Y'all be using, mm -hmm, that's how we feeling today. Y'all use bronzers anyways to contour, but this is, you know, technically your contour, like I said, colors are supposed to be cooler gray toned, like skin tone shadows. With this, summertime is the perfect time to use your bronzer as a contour. And that's what we're gonna do. Taking my flat, well, my 168, which is an angle brush. Look at all the product that just picked up. I'm telling y'all, a little goes a long way. I'm using back my hand just to like dab, dab, dab. And we're gonna start to, whoa, that's a lot of product. Well, what we know for sure is it's nicely pigmented. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and lay the product over here too while I got it on, good gravy. All right, I'm gonna just go down here because y'all know we contouring down there too. And I'm gonna just do a little bit through here. Now I'm gonna have to take a different brush out. I'm gonna just use my foundation brush. Actually, you know I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna blend that out just a little. Contour the side of the nose too, child. I got all this product on here. Might as well use it all. Tip of the nose, just the tip. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. Now y'all know when we bronze, it's supposed to mimic sun, right? As if you're hanging out by the pool, as if you're on the beach, face up to the sun. The sun kind of hits you through here. 
kisses the nose slightly gently and a little bit on the chin. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use a fluffy brush with the rosiness because this is gonna give us that golden effect and that radiance, not the golden effect, but it's gonna give us that radiance. So I'm using just a little because I can see that this is very pigmented. And I'm gonna sweep lightly to the forehead, very lightly, bring it down to the tip of my nose like that. And then I'm gonna circle. So almost like the three, yeah, mm-hmm, right, like so. And we're literally, y'all like my earring? Yeah, we're literally merging this warmth and this glow together. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something. <laughs> we could add a little bit more right through here. And with the underpainting of the blush, this looks, I need to look in the mirror, y'all. Y'all know I'm blind. This gives such a gorgeous balance and glow. Now, truth be told out there, melanated beauty besties, how much bronzing y'all be doing? I'm just, I'm gonna keep going, because why not? The skin is skinning. Look at that. Now, here's the Pierre Resistance. <laughs> A little Francais mixed with a little Spanglish. You're getting your, your language class today as well. I'm gonna take a little bit of highlighter and we're gonna just throw in a pinch of highlight right through there. And because we go on bronzy, I'm gonna go nice gold slash bronze highlight. Bada bing, bada boom. Y'all see that? <laughs> Don't tell me I am not looking like my best glow glitter self. Baby, it's the summer bronze for me. It's the radiant glow for me. It's the fact that this all melts beautifully together on the skin. Y'all, I'm gonna take me a little and just even go down the, the bridge of my nose. And by the way, I'm using an eyeshadow out of this Connecting Color Palette. Who is this girl? I am using Dialed Up the Gold, Dial Up the Gold, Little pinch right down the nostril, a little through here. And again, this is our skin. If you wanna get real crazy, you could even then, now that we got our placement for like the darker bronzer and the radiant bronzer, you could even, y'all know I like a good mixology moment. You can go back in with final moments like this, sweep it across, dust it down, and really just use this to polish. If you need to, go back in with a little bit of concealer to brighten underneath here. You can add a little bit more blush. But baby, I think we are done. Baby, this was a nice, quick little summer bronzing tutorial. So, in conclusion, you need more than one bronzer this summer. We are not out here just rolling around with one bronzer. We're upgrading our summer bronzing look for 2023 for to at least two bronzers. We're underpainting for a real realistic glow and, uh, and, and flush to the cheeks. And I'm gonna just let y'all know, I hope y'all enjoy this. I, I, can I, I'm just gonna pause real quick. I just wanna rest in my summer glow. I just wanna rest in my bronze. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments what you think about this summer bronzing look. I'm gonna give y'all a tutorial, I promise, for these connecting color palettes. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave me a comment. But most importantly, check the notifications and make sure they're turned on so you don't miss out on all this good old melanated magic sugar. Who loves you? <laughs> I do. See you next time. Bye.